Alrighty. Let's pull the back of these armpit points. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me, Wendy. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers trying out other YouTubers tutorials. Today I have picked Q Squared Han. I've done collabs with them before. They're super, super fashionable and cute and sweet twins. They live in Korea and they both have gone to fashion school which means they have a lot more professional education in this than me. I've been feeling a bit lacking in the summer tops department. It's actually so hot in my studio right now, so I don't even know how I'm going to shoot this video. Like, I'm like dying just doing this intro. But they have a really, really cute tutorial that they once posted. Um, how long ago? Two, two years ago. Less than two years ago. It's an off-the-shoulder bow tie top. We're going to watch it, and I'm going to see if I can do it. Okay, theirs is in black. Mine I'm going to be making in gingham. This material. Hey guys, this is QQ. We're finally back from our long, almost a month's trip. Right oh, yeah, here. that's when they went to Vancouver. Vancouver. For this project, you'll need one and a half yard of light cotton fabric okay. and about a half yard of quarter inch thick elastic band. Oh, shoot, elastic band. <laughs> okay, let's get an elastic. Measure the width of your chest divided by two and add two and a half inch. I should write this down. Star. To create an armhole, mark two and a half inch inward at width and five inch downward at length. Yeah, let's do 13 to be safe. Okay, I was drawing this out and I felt like it was way too wide. They actually just want the width here, not the circumference. Plus two and a half is 11. 11 is my star. Okay, back at it. This is the pattern piece. Next, draw two straight lines that are parallel to each other. When cutting, cut it from the bottom to the top motion and make sure the tip of the top is still attached. Then spread it as much as you want, tape it on a new this piece of paper and then connect proper. it up. This part is definitely for the armpit. This will be for the body. One piece for the front and one piece for the back. To create the sleeve pattern, draw a rectangle with the length you desire and a width that is equivalent to 9. 10. Let's go for 10. We want a rectangle that is 9 inches wide, doing another one of those 5 and 2 and a half inch curves. We're going to go for a length of 10 seems too long now. Whatever. Let's 10 it. You said whatever I want, I will do it. You know the drill, get Okay, I know the drill. All right, I'll be back once I make my sleeve piece. We're gonna cut along this fold and that will get us two pieces that are fully symmetrical. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. Draw a long rectangle that is 31 inch long and three inch thick to create a shoulder tie. I've cut out all the pieces, so these are the shoulder ties. Hana, tu, se. Ne? I tried. Sleeve number one, number two, body piece number one, body piece number two. <sighs> now that I see theirs, mine is so much more flared. Oh my gosh. First thing first, sew the side seams of the body's front and back together. And then fold the sleeves in half and sew the underarm together. Fold it in half. For the shoulder strap, fold it in half and lengthwise and sew it in quarter inch and make sure to sew and close one end of the tie as well. Now sew the armholes of the bodies and the sleeves together in a half an inch seam allowance. Alright, let's get that sorted out. I'm going to touch this side seam to this side seam, this seam and this seam and that'll make the armpit. This is the body. And I've now attached the sleeve over here. Next, clean finish the raw edges all around the shoulder with either a zigzag stitch or a serging machine. Okay. Then fold it in half an inch. I'm done with the casing. Oh. Lastly, fold it half an inch twice. They only go here. All right. Next, cut about an 8-inch long elastic band and secure a safety pin at one end and shove it through one of the holes and drag it out through the other holes you created. Okay, so they want us to zigzag stitch it. 
out of curiosity I really wanted to try on this part is way too huge like this is cute this is okay um, but I think I'm also going to insert an elastic here. This is going well so far. Even though I look like I'm drowning, it's going well. Look, this is much better now. The back. It moves! Oh! Okay, we will do the straps. With the four shoulder straps, sew each of them at the each end of the bust area, just like what I'm doing right now. And hit fast forward now. There. Nice square corners. How come you're not using the new camera? Oh, because uh, the battery just finished charging. Uh... And also, I'm, I, unlike many people, really do enjoy reading the manual. And, yeah. and yeah. being like, this The first, the first thing you have this. to do is go through every single menu item and make sure it's your preferred choice. Yeah, whereas Dan just plugs things in and starts, and I was like, what are you doing? This is my brother! What's up? <laughs> you guys think we look alike? We're going together to Asia. <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, very exciting. I know there's some people here who watch who actually know him because they comment funny stuff. Did your friends tell you that they were commenting on my yeah, YouTube videos? Yeah, they did. <laughs> One day I woke up and there were all these comments that were like, where's your brother? I want to see more of your brother. <laughs> These two I will tie together to form the shoulder strap. I'm going to attach the last two. I am going to hem the bottom like they show. And so next time you see this, I will be wearing it successfully, I hope. Voila. Voila. Yeah. Just so I'm only coming out to play. We're all together. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more that I hate in this life. I believe in fate. 